Janice, and new at 5.30, would you hire a lawyer who is deaf or someone who is blind to fix your computer? If you said no, coming up a story that may change your mind. Stay with us. A majority of people with disabilities or special needs never enter the workforce. Some because they can't, but others because they just won't get hired. That's not the case at a local law firm, where one in four of their workers has a disability. The cubicles, computers, and copiers may all look familiar, but you've likely never worked in an office like this. In Nassau County, the Rosicky and Rosicky law firm is changing the way people think about workers with disabilities. I know. Was anybody else over there having that issue? Sit with Elizabeth Hilton and you'll see what she can do, even though she can't see. That gibberish is her audio software program dictating emails she receives. It plays at triple speed because she moves fast. Come on, Lou. With that and her dog, Lucy, she manages the IT department for the firm and its hundreds of lawyers and staff. Someone called and, you know, they wanted me to go into their computer. I said, no, I don't do that because I'm blind. And they said, oh, well, you don't sound blind. <laughs> the Department of Labor estimates only 20% of people with disabilities enter the workforce. Of those, 13% are currently unemployed. I lived in California for a while. Nobody wanted to hire me out there. I wanted a job. I didn't, I wanted to do anything. And when the Rizikis gave me the opportunity, I, I took it and I ran with it. Hello. Melissa Cubitt also ran with it. She's a trial attorney who is deaf, but she's got the advantage in court. She's a lip reader. The fact that I don't hear the same as everyone else shouldn't be a factor. We represent banks um, in real estate transactions. Tom and um, Cynthia so Rosicki say the trend in their art with one hire, a woman with spina bifida. We put her right at the reception desk mm -hmm. with the idea that when people came to work every day, they would have to walk past this young woman who maybe it was a little harder for her to get to work. It was a little harder for her to do just basic functions that we take for granted. And it really did. It really changed our organization. Oh, it did sign it. A workforce the Rosicki say is now less cutthroat. <laughs> I think people feel more of their human side. You know, everybody's rush, 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 especially in New York. Instead of really just slowing down and listening and connecting to your coworker, your neighbor. Hello, B. Hello. Hey, your flowers look lovely. Thank you, Dowie. Yeah. You're so good. Thank Someone you. helping connect people is Joseph Bianchini. Fair part is scanning. <laughs> Yeah, what do you like about scanning? It's like put the, mach the machine does all the work. <laughs> Kidding. No, I, I put it in the machine, it scans, and pretty much cool. The Rosicki say when Joseph came to them, he was nonverbal. Now, he's known as the firm's mayor. Yeah, it gave me another chance, another shot at um, working at a regular job. Now, businesses can get tax breaks for hiring workers with disabilities, but the firm we profiled say they don't take them because that's not why they're doing it. We found so many stories in that one office, really amazing. They seem like such a happy family there. Oh, yeah, and they said that when there's a blizzard and there's six inches of snow on the ground and oh. nobody wants to come to work, their workers with disabilities are the earliest ones, the ones always there. That's, that's yeah. wonderful. All right, Tom, thank you.